Hello everyone, welcome to Moy Garcia Rebinds and Bible Reviews. We got here today a new review for you. This is uh, a very special and uh, beautiful edition of the ESV Omega Thinline Reference Bible in goat skin, black color. And uh, I have to say, uh, I am impressed with this and just want to show you uh, a little bit more about it. It comes in this uh, lovely box, very sturdy box, very classy, very thick. This is a very, very good card cardboard kind of. I'll show you in a second. There you have it. It's a very thick. You can see here, box, and uh, comes with. Uh, a little card here to you know to say thank you for purchasing this edition and uh, just I just want to leave this here for a second for you to be able to read it and it comes also with this cloth to cover the, the Bible itself very, like a velvety kind of very nice and uh, have a bit of the specs that uh, we're going to go through okay it's a 10 point lexicon type double, double column paragraph format uh, it comes with full cross references art gilding uh, concordance you can see four colored ribbon markers a little bit short but they're nice I think they are uh, because the paper is, is quite thin this type of uh, marker ribbon markers are ideal and uh, let's take a look so here we have the Omega thin line and uh, as you can see you have a lovely spine with one two three and four raised hubs you see they're slightly erased as you can see right there and it comes with uh, Holy Bible, ESV logo, English Standard Version, and Crossway, which is the publisher. This is an amazing uh, uh, goat skin, grain, and uh, it has a little bit of a shine to it. As you can see here, it's a bit of a shine to it. Some people like that, some people don't. I personally like it. I think it gives it a different look and uh, it feels like it's gonna be a very durable uh, a leather uh, by the feel that, that, that I can actually get from it it's perimeter stitched as you can see right there throughout the whole Bible and uh, in the interior you will see that that is also a nice feature now corner work I have to say I would prefer that they would hand pleat this rather than just cut the leather, smash it down, and then glue it. Uh, for a premium Bible, right? I rather have a different type of uh, corner. I mean, they're neat. They're put well, very well put together. But I prefer corners to be hand pleated rather than cut and then paste down um, that's just my my personal opinion on that one amazing lovely gold gilded line around the perimeter gold skin leather that's just to tell you and uh, this is also a very nice leather lined uh, edition as you can see it's tapped right here into the text block and we have here the black vinyl end sheet, you know, to match our cover right here. It does come with these four uh, ribbons. As you see here, different tones of brown, cream, and a black, like this one. And they're a bit short, cut short. I believe if they left about that much of a length 
it would have done a much better work uh, uh, and finish to it but it's just again another observation not a complaint you know it's just just my own and it has um, this uh, art guild kind of salmony look to it it's not red it's not pink but it looks like salmon to me rather than red as you can see right there uh, that's obviously under gold very nice gold gilding right here okay so let's pop this up we have a couple of uh, cardstock glossy cardstock on the front and uh, we have the presentation page marriages births and adoptions deaths and we have our first Bible paper page, the Holy Bible, ESV. We've got here that is indeed done by our friends in Crossway. And uh, this is the 2016 edition. This is a text that was revised and updated in the year 2016. And uh, also we can see here that uh, this is printed in the Netherlands. I take this is junk blood. It says junk right here, which is one of the year 2018 uh, the best uh, pol uh, printers. Sorry, right now in the world, and it seems that all the premium Bibles kind of gone to that direction uh, here in Europe, and uh, I think they're excellent with the paper and the print. Paper is quite thin. All right. It is a high quality European Bible paper though, even if it's thin, doesn't mean a lot of show through from, what, from one page to the next. You'll see back to back that uh, although this is a thin paper, let's try to get to, for example, this area here in Genesis. The show through Although this is line matched, which means one line here would match the line in the back, it's not terrible. And uh, as you can see here, it's quite crisp and dark. The font used here in this edition, okay, is a 10 point font. Uh, we can see here, in, in right here in Genesis, uh, this Bible is going to lay flat. Uh, it's a bit stiff at the moment, but I believe that after a few weeks of usage, this is going to loosen up a little bit and uh, it's going to become more and more uh, flexible and playable. Here we go, that's Genesis. Double column. The references are going to be relegated to this right corner on the bottom of the page, and then you have down here all the notes from the translators uh, I think this is a great layout for the Bible to read uh, to preach from I rather have a verse by verse in this case but uh, you can still use this uh, you know for devotionals study and teaching you have your notes next to us you know well marked up the space between the lines is nice, I believe. Uh, the columns are, are in a width that I like. Uh, I don't get lost when I'm reading. It's not too long uh, uh, from line to line. So the amount of letters or words, sorry, uh, used in each uh, line, I believe it's, it's ideal. And uh, uh, it is a black letter. Uh, so you don't have the red in the New Testament. For the words of, uh, of Messiah and in the back of this lovely edition we're gonna have a lovely concordance let me get back to us we have our concordance right here all right and it's a three column concordance uh, very nice and dark uh, subjects right and uh, then uh, although it's a small and, and fine letter kind of thin it is very readable as you can see right here not too bad and uh, 
quite extensive, actually. And then we have the crossways maps in uh, glossy cardstock, full color. And as you can see, very, very crisp and sharp fonts and used in this one, uh, which makes it a lot easier to read uh, in the maps with all these different colors and, and lines and borders and so on. I believe that's an essential for a map uh, to be uh, great and, and a good tool, you know, uh, for your studies and there you go. And then after the maps, we have, that's the last one, that's Paul's third missionary journey. One, two, three, and four cardstock pages for extra notes. And uh, our, our cover here again in Ghost Skin. Now, what can I say about this Bible? I think is great to carry around. It's, it's flexible. You can see here. You can bend it, no problem. But it is not heavy at all. Even though it's a, a quite large uh, 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 footprint, we're talking 9.13 inches tall by 6.13 inches wide. But it is only under. Let's see. Yeah, it's about uh, an inch thick. It's very light. It's very light. This is not a heavy Bible. So you could preach from this and carry around and your hand will never get tired from holding this. I'm, I believe this is a great uh, option right there in the market. Uh, great materials, I have to say. They put together great materials to make this, this uh, edition. And I think you cannot go wrong uh, with this one. I am very happy with this edition. I believe you can't go wrong by buying this. Uh, I'm going to put a link below in the description box to uh, where you can actually find this uh, edition. And uh, with more description features uh, for your own uh, benefit. And I hope you liked and enjoyed this uh, new review. Uh, please like us and share with others and if you haven't subscribed please consider to do so hope to see you soon in another review or rebind until then shalom shalom <laughs>